I love list. I love list. One of my favorite things on the planet. Okay. One of my favorite things. This is the big sills. 2022 rankings for all NFL QBs. Where does your guy rank? Great. Jalen hit a 16th call in it. Yeah. Are you saying I got him at 16? You think Jalen's at 16? All right. Chris, they did address everything except safety. All right, let's get into that. I love list. I love list. One of my favorite things on the planet. Okay. One of my favorite things. This is the Big Sills 2022 rankings for all NFL QBs. And where does your guy rank? Number 32. As I said, my first day on this network. Justin Fields sucks. 32. Chicago Bears. Terrible. He will never be a star player in this league. Ever. Number 31. The greatness of Mitchell Trubisky. I'll tell you what, man. He did look pretty good in Buffalo going into Chicago last year in the exhibition season. Yeah, you know why? Because he got some pretty good coaching from Brian Dable, who was then the OC and Ken Dorsey and Sean McDermott. He actually looks decent. Number 30, the greatness of Geno Smith. And see, uh, these guys suck. You mean to tell me Colin Kaepernick? Uh, here, I'm going to leave that alone. Geno Smith is 30th. Number 29. Sam Darnold. These are stiffs. Okay. <laughs> These guys, I mean, really, <laughs> I can't even believe I have Sam Darnold's name on a list. Number 28. Is his name David Mills? Texans. Big Seals has given you my rankings for the top 32 NFL quarterbacks. Number 27. Marcus Mariota. Wow. Hey, <laughs> why do I feel I'm at the bottom of the lake and all I'm fishing for right now are carps? You know, the carp that like eats all the shit off the bottom of the lake. <laughs> why do I feel like I'm doing that? Seals is going to have Wentz ahead of Ertz. How dare you say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh Dude, I mean it, right, Xander? These are terrible. Look at the bottom feeders. Hey, Xander. Cilio's talking bad about Jalen again. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, number 26. The greatness of Zach Wilson. Listen to these guys. Zach Wilson, Marcus Mariota. These guys are actually in the league. Sam Darnold, Geno Smith, Mitchell Trubisky, Justin Field. My God. Number 25. Sorry, Chris Sims. Daniel Jones. <laughs> oh, my God. These are terrible. Oh, here we go. Number 24. Now we're starting to get a little talent here. Jameis Winston. Five and two last year before he got hurt. Did have Sean Payton call him plays for him, though. Saints. You know, he could actually do something, though. Dude did throw for 5,000 yards. Just saying. Number 23. Now we start getting interesting. <laughs> Number 23. Watch this. I probably will get um, letters to the editor. <laughs> Uh, 
Tua Tugaviola at number 23. Number 22 from the Tennessee Titans, Ryan Tannehill. Number 21, guy I think is going to make a gigantic leap, is Trevor Lawrence, Jacksonville Jaguars. They actually have an adult as a head coach now instead of Urban Liar. Okay? By the way, we're doing the top 32. Big Sills rankings for the NFL quarterbacks in the league. Number 20, Jared Goff, Detroit Lions. I really don't like the guy, but with the stiff step behind him, at least he's won an NFC championship. Here we go. Are you ready? Number 19. Carson Wentz. Washington Commanders. Commander Wentz. Number 18. Matt Jones. Patriots, top 32 NFL quarterbacks, according to Big Sills. Number 17, the greatness that is, your quarterback, Jalen Hurts, 17, Philadelphia Eagles. Number 17. Hell, Chris Sims has him way to hell down there. And last year, I think he even had backups ranked ahead of him. Okay. <laughs> uh, number 16. Jimmy Garoppolo, San Francisco 49ers. Number 15. Matt Ryan. <laughs> Former league MVP. Number 14. Kurt Cousins. Thank you, Jimmy. I think he's right. 17, 16, somewhere in there. Okay. You're not better than Garoppolo. Garoppolo's done more than you. Garoppolo's won more. Garoppolo won early, too. Garoppolo, I think, in his second year in San Fran as a starter, won the NFC. Kirk Cousins, number 14. The greatness of Cousins. Number 13, a man who is going to be making $45 million. By the way, I'm going to talk to Phil Sims about this list, bottom of the hour. But really... Really, M. Reyes says, hey, you, you, you want to see something that's completely fake news? M. Reyes says, Jimmy G played worse than Hurts in the playoffs. You must have forgot him going into bad weather in Green Bay and winning that game. You must have forgot that. In clement weather, they go up there in a snowstorm, in a driving rain and sleet storm, and they beat the number one seed in the NFC last year. You must have forgot that. <laughs> yeah. No, I, and by the way, no quarterback played worse than Jalen Hurts last year in the playoffs. No one. No one had, hey, no one had announcers screaming at him, just throw the ball to the left. <laughs> Nobody. Troy Aikman was screaming at him. Number 12, Dak Prescott. Dallas Cowboys. Number 11. Derek Carr. Las Vegas Raiders. Number 10. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. I'm not sure Deshaun Watson's going to be playing this year after what Rusty Hart and his attorney said in an interview. I got to tell you, man, I don't know. I'm going to talk a little bit later on about that. 
Not a good look. Okay, even if he's innocent, you can't have your attorney talking shit on the NFL like that. And it's not so much he was talking shit on the NFL. We're in a Me Too society right now. Dude, you can't be barking anything that could make you look awful and the league look awful in that. Even if you're lying. Lie to the public. Lie to the public. Don't come out and start barking like that. Saying that, I mean, I, I, I'll tell you what he said later. Because quite frankly, I, I, the, the commissioner just may suspend Deshaun Watson for his attorney being a dummy. But I got him at 10. Number nine, Lamar Jackson. Happy endings, man. Can you believe that, dude? I, you know, oof. Number eight, Matthew Stafford. Rams. Number seven, Russell Wilson. Broncos. Number six, Justin Herbert. Number five, Tom Brady, Buccaneers. Number three, Aaron Rodgers, Packers. Actually, four, excuse me. Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs, then Aaron Rodgers. Number two, Joe Burrow. I'm huge on him. And the number one quarterback, in my opinion, in 2022, the Big Sills quarterback ranking list is Josh Allen. There is your top 32 quarterbacks, and your boy is 17th with the Eagles. Is that fair? Hit the like button. I want to hear your comments on it. We all deserve happy endings. Oh, my God. Super Bowl winning quarterback at eight. Yeah, he's got a losing record. He's won four playoff games. Three of them were last year. I don't know. You, what, one year Matthew Stafford is like, what, a top five quarterback? Since when? He had a great play caller. They put him in a good system. So, so wait a minute here. Let me get this right. Okay. Who would you put, a, who would you put Matthew Stafford ahead of Russell Wilson? Justin Herbert is a better player. Brady's better. Rodgers is better. Burrow's better. Josh Allen's better. Oh, this list. Here, where would you rank Jalen? Dude. Right? Oh, letters to the editor? <laughs> That's what we're going to call it from now on, Xander. Letters to the editor. <laughs> hey, why? by the way, that's a great take. Crypto. I might rank Gardner Minshew ahead of Justin Fields and Mitchell Trubisky and Geno Smith. I may actually do that. You may actually have a quarterback that may be ranked ahead of them stiffs. Xander goes, I have, I have Hurts 21 and two a bit higher. So here, just a recap. Fields, 32, Trubisky, 31, Geno Smith, 30, Darnold, 29, David Mills, 28, Mariota, 27, Zach Wilson, 26, Daniel Jones, 25, Jameis Winston, 24, Tua, 23, Ryan Tannehill, 22, Trevor Lawrence, 21, Jared Goff, 20, Carson Wentz, 19, Mac Jones, 18, Jalen Hurts, 17, Jimmy G, 16, Matt Ryan, 15, Kirk Cousins, 14, Kyler Murray, 13, Dak Prescott, 12, Derek Carr, 11, Deshaun, 10, Lamar Jackson, 9, Matthew Stafford, 8, Russell Wilson, 7, Justin Herbert, 6, Brady, 5, Mahomes, 4, Rodgers, 3, Burrow, 2, Josh Allen, number 1. I, I mean, I look at all these quarterbacks and I look at what these guys' talents are and what they've done, okay? All six QBs behind Hurts need to be discussed. Cilio's lying on this. 
<laughs> no. Wow, Xander thinks Xander actually thinks that I got Jalen too high on the list. I think, man, you know, 17 and 20. Here, okay, that's a good debate. Jalen Hurts or Mac Jones? Hmm. Hmm. Mac Jones made the playoffs. First year starting, too. Jalen Hurts, Carson Wentz. It's a good uh, coin flip. Trevor Lord. Hey, you know what? Xander's got a good topic going on here. Xander's got a pretty good topic going on here. Hurts at 17. Can't rank him. Not th- you can't talk about the guys ahead of him because they're all better. Mac Jones, who would you take if you had to win a ball game? Mac Jones or Hurts? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, hey, hang on here. Hey, hey, hey. Hurts or Wentz? Well, we're going to find that out soon. Wait, wait a minute. We're going to find that out in week three. <laughs> Uh, but Trevor Lawrence, oh, that's right. We're going to find that out too. And right after that, <laughs> holy cow, we're going to find that out too. And t- no, we don't play Tua. Okay. Ryan Tannehill, you do play him. That's a week 13. Wow. I think Xander's got something here. Greg, I think he does have the strongest arm. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Big Seal's irritating the witness. Come on, man. Okay? Come on, man. Hey, I, look. Look at Nathan. Did you see Clay? Special teams press conference today. I love it. Good. Debbie's like, go Carson. Whoa, no way. Don't, Debbie, don't do it, Debbie. You're going to get killed in here. Trust me. Anytime you bring Carson Wentz up in here, man, that's like bringing like the Antichrist up in here. Can't do it. Come on, Sills Garoppolo's trash. How can a guy be 41 and 16 in trash, Zach? Zach, how can a guy be 41 41- 16 and one and five and two in the postseason, and he's trash. Your comment doesn't speak to it. You throw me some dopey ass stats. Garoppolo, I'll throw you the number one thing that matters the most 41 and 16. Dude, anybody, anybody who tells me that Jimmy Garoppolo is trash doesn't know what it takes to win. Dude, so if Garoppolo throws for 136 yards and wins, You guys want to have a guy throw for 500 yards and win? This is not a beauty contest. There's only two things you're gauged on as a starting quarterback in the NFL. You know what that is? Wins and losses. Nobody cares if you throw for 17,000 yards in a season. It's about winning the last game of the year. And when you tell me that Garoppolo sucks, you don't understand the position. That guy went up to Green Bay in inclement weather. My next guest that I'm going to get on here in a second knows what it's like to go up to Green Bay and play in that place. And in inclement weather, he beat the number one seed and knocked Aaron Rodgers and the Packers out. Guys, that's not what quarterbacking's about, throwing for big numbers. 